If I cough or if I move or if I breathe in, it goes. Good morning, guys. I want to see something. I need a haircut. So Mary's going to drop me to get a haircut while she and Elijah are going to the thrift store. She's got some old baby clothes that she's going to consign at the oh. baby consignment store. Oh and God. she'll probably shop around. Hi, 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 hi. Good morning, Ollie boy. Oh yeah, I saw your tail wagging. All right, you have a nice rest. We had a nice walk this morning. And you know, it's just always boxes of store stuff in our foyer. Okay, I'm turning on the camera when I was at a red light because I'm driving, so I'm not looking down, and I'm sure this is a great angle. <laughs> I lost my voice today. I have no idea why. Was I jamming out too loud in the car to the kids' music? Possibly. But I still need directions. I think it's still gonna tell me directions. Um, I am driving to a women's night for our church, and Peter and Elijah are at home. I just ate a quick dinner and I'm on my way. But Peter's been working, he's had phone meetings today and I've been hanging out with my tiny pal named Eli. It's been an amazing day. I did lose my voice, so that hinders, you know, talking. Turn right onto Woodlake Drive. Okay. Then turn left onto Wait, North Court. Where? Oh, up here, okay. Okay, I'm driving and um, I need to figure out where I'm supposed to park. So uh, this is the end of today, but we'll just combine this footage with another day because dudes, we didn't get to it. Like we couldn't vlog today. So we'll see you soon though. Um, thanks for joining us today and hopefully the next time I vlog, I'll have a voice. See you guys. Okay, this is another super random clip and I do have my, my, vo my voice back. My voice back, mostly. I think my singing voice is still catching up. But I just was about to eat this and realized I wanted to do it for the camera, but here's why. So my friend brought us some like snacks and stuff a couple weeks ago when we had COVID. And I haven't tried one of these yet. It's a Mamba, Mamba. I'm gonna guess Mamba. And I've never had this candy. And you always see like trying British candies for the first time or that sort of thing. It isn't British. It's just a candy that I've never had. And I thought I'd do a taste test for you. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing it's kind of like a softer, um, What's the word? Starburst. Mm-hmm. That is really good. Oh, interesting. This isn't gum, right? Fruit chews. That is really good. It looks like there were a few different flavors. It also looks like Peter was has enjoyed some of these because there's just these left. But there's another flavor, raspberry. That was strawberry. So don't worry, I'll try it for you. Yeah, it was good. I kind of feel like it was less sticky than a Starburst. So that's kind of nice. It's not gonna be in my teeth for the next three hours. Speaking of which, I have a dentist appointment coming up. <laughs> it's good. That is good. I like it. Um, on the topic of the dentist, if you remember, right before Elijah was born, I was feeling like a little weird feeling in my teeth. So I went to the dentist and on the photo of my teeth, the surface of my teeth that they took, he was basically like, it looks like cavities. I, and I've had one cavity in my entire life and it was probably 
15, oh man, I don't know, maybe 20 years ago, <laughs> probably about 20 years ago. And so when they were like, yeah, the surface of your teeth looks like cavities. But then I went, so that was before Elijah was born. And then right after Elijah was born, we went back to the dentist so I could have like a real dentist appointment. That was just like a quick thing. So then they took x-rays and they, the x-rays looked good. Like maybe it was maybe the start of a cavity on the surface of the tooth, but it wasn't like in the tooth, like a cavity that you can see on the x-ray. So that was really confirming or like encouraging. Also, I haven't been having that zingy feeling. I did switch toothpastes. Anyway, I'm going to see a different dentist this time for my follow-up and then we'll decide on if it needs to be filled or whatever, like dent dental work. I got this sense when we went back. So the first time they were like, and I, I vlogged about this because I was like, Ugh, what? It was many cavities. Um, and we guessed that it had something to do with, because this is at all, we moved here a couple months after starting Trikafta and then the pandemic hit. So I haven't been to the dentist since we moved here. And we guessed that it was possibly Trikafta because it causes, it can cause like dry eyes and maybe it, is causing dry mouth that I didn't know about. And then also because my blood sugar drops so frequently and I'm having to treat for the lows with glucose tabs, maybe the dry mouth combined with glucose tabs, maybe it just like caused this like perfect storm to make cavities. Anyway, um, when I went back for the follow-up and it was like more thorough, it was kind of like these could stay the same for a long, long time or they could get worse and you need to get them treated. And I was like, okay. So what am I supposed to do? <laughs> anyway, I, I, I ended up um, waiting and we're gonna do a follow-up and then make a decision. So in the meantime, I brush my teeth, I floss my teeth and we'll see what, we'll see what the follow-up looks like. Okay, there you go. I tried it for you. It's really good. Hey guys. Mm, you're so chipper. Uh -oh. How are we gonna both be in this? Oh, I will. I'll come I'm, to you. I'm not moving. Guys, I picked up the camera this morning. You did? Yeah. Stuck it in my pocket. Yeah. I was looking for it all day. <coughs> Where'd you find it? I found it on that counter over there. Yeah, I carried it in my pocket for a while. I really wanted to vlog, but I didn't feel like I had the <laughs> strength. <laughs> okay, so I woke up this morning. Elijah woke up, I get out of bed, and I'm like, oh. I thought, at first, uh, like, I don't know, sometimes I like pulled a pectoral or something, you know, like I, I felt the soreness in my chest. I didn't think much of it, but I went and got Elijah, I came downstairs, and like as I was carrying him down the stairs, I was like, oh, my chest hurts. And we had a lot of work to do today, so we had orders to get in the mail and things, and so I like pressed through it, but like all day it just got worse and worse. <coughs> I have this ch pain in my chest, like right here. It's on his right side. Um, he is three weeks post COVID now. Yeah. And. His cough started about <coughs> a week ago. Mm -hmm. So two weeks post COVID. And the cough was like, oh, that's so weird that it came <coughs> after he was better. Like he maybe had a little bit of a cough during COVID, but barely. Not really. Yeah, not even, just barely. <coughs> yeah, so. I'm guessing that this chest pain is like long COVID effects where like basically after COVID people have symptoms for weeks on end. I, it's so weird. I have, I didn't have any chest tightness up till now, 
but I have never felt. I've heard Mary and I've seen Mary go through pleurisy pain. And the, I don't know if this is the, the same thing, but kind of seems similar. It's <coughs> very similar. It seems like the way he's talking, like um, he would say, if he was just being still, it barely hurt, or it was just kind of like a dull ache. And then if he- if I, if I, Okay, here's the pain, the pain sensors. If I'm still, it's like this. And then if I cough, or if I move, or if I breathe in, it goes That's how I describe it. That's how I would describe it. <laughs> and very sharp when it's gripping into your lung, like it's super sharp. Obviously my pleurisy pain was CF related, not COVID related. But hey Ollie, you already had two dinners and a big bone. So you're set, you're, you're all, all set, set you're for all set. the night. Um, but yeah, it's just been really sad to see Peter in so much pain. And Harry, yeah. You don't need to help Peter with his ice cream. Yeah. It's just been sad. So I tried to give Peter the, uh, <coughs> all that I could think of. So he was out, he was over on this couch and like grimace on his face. Like I could just tell you were in like bad pain. So then, then Eli and I went upstairs to kind of be as quiet as possible. So we went to the third floor and I pulled up the security camera and I could see that you were asleep down here on the couch. And it was like 1 p.m. And I knew that you needed to edit the vlog, but there was no way on earth I was gonna wake you up. And I was going to try to edit, but I didn't know where to find the footage. So anyway, <clears throat> um, I knew it was bad because Peter does not lay on the couch and take a nap, ever. That was barely a nap. That was survival mode. I know about that. Yeah. Did the heating pad I think the help heating at all? Pad did hey, help. Harry. <laughs> Welcome to our circus. I don't know. And then, like, I had a fever tonight. Or today. Yeah. I don't know. So, it's been a day. Yeah. Um. Oh, man. I just feel sad that you know what that feels like now. Yeah, I feel sad that you had to go through so much stuff like this. Survival mode, right? Yeah. Heating pad, Tylenol. Mm. Distractions, sleep. I had a meeting on Zoom tonight. I was like, guys, if I did not seem dynamic, it's because I'm in a lot of pain. Cause I'm not that. I sat on, sat on mute most of the meeting. Oh man. So my question is. Yeah. Are we going to the doctor tomorrow? I feel like if it stays the same, I'm fine. If it gets worse, maybe. So worse than a fever and the worst pain of your life. I I wouldn't say it's the worst pain in my life. Worst chest pain. What was the worst? Maybe what? like breaking a leg or breaking my leg or something like that was, was worse. probably worse. Okay. Yeah. But um. Yeah, but when Peter was researching like the long COVID stuff, a lot of that. It seems like that's seems what it like is. It. Especially since like the cough started, and then I don't know. Chest pain seems to go along with it, so. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, if it gets worse, we can get it checked out. But I, I'm like, I'm fine. I can deal with it. Do you want to go to bed and use the heating pad and watch a show? Yeah, maybe I'll take a bath first. That would feel good. Yeah. Alright guys, peace out.